Hello, my name is the Reverend Andrea Allen. I'm uh, the minister serving Westminster United Church in Waterloo. And today I have for you two examples of body prayers. Body prayers are something that exactly as it sounds, we use our bodies to pray. And now often when folks think of prayer, you usually think of sitting still and quiet, perhaps your hands are folded in front of you or folded like that, your eyes are closed, perhaps your head is bowed, and that is one great way to pray. But today we're going to explore how to use our body to also pray. Now for some people using our body is a lot more difficult than it is for others. And so today these prayers can be done either standing up or seated. Um, and if you're able to, you're invited to put your arms out wide. But if that's difficult, please feel very free to also just use the motions of your hands as well or whatever you can um, without pushing yourself past what is comfortable. It's just another way in which we feel and sense and explore God in our bodies, in our words, in our actions. So I invite you to try out these two prayers. And if you enjoy them, feel free to use them very often or modify them, change them, uh, do them whenever and wherever you are, or even just parts of them um, out and about. So I'd like to share with you a fantastic little prayer um, that I recently learned called the teacup prayer. Now, if you're not much of a tea drinker, you could also call it your coffee cup prayer or your juice cup prayer. Uh, whatever kind of cup is something that you use regularly is probably an excellent way to think about this prayer. So I'm going to go through the steps of this prayer first, and then Hopefully, you'll be able to join me and we'll go through that prayer as a prayer two times through and then finish with an amen. So the first step is to open up your cup. You want to begin with a big open cup. I want you to picture God's love filling up that cup. So the per first part is fill up your cup with God's love. Picture it being all to the brim overflowing. My cup runneth over. <laughs> then you're going to pull God's love like a big ball over your head. Try to hold it all, but there's so much love. You can't really contain it all, can you? So then once you've got your ball of God's love over your head, you're going to start to pull that love down toward your heart. Then once you get to your heart, we're going to take a moment and pause, pause there. And then all this love that we've pulled together into our heart, we're going to shake it out, shake God's love out, sending it out into the world for everyone. So I invite you to please join with me as we pray. God, we fill our cups up full overflowing with your love. We hold your love like a ball over our head, trying to hold it all. We pull your love down into us, down into our hearts. We hold your love within our hearts. And then we pour your love out by shaking it out into the world for everyone to feel your love. God, we open up our cups and we fill them to the brim overflowing with your love. We try to hold your love like a ball over our heads, try to contain it. Then we pull your love down into us. We hold it into our hearts and we rest with your love filling our hearts and ourselves. 
And then we take your love and we shake it out for the whole world to know. Amen. Hello again. Now, some of you may have already known the teacup prayer as it's something that's gone around uh, because it's such a lovely prayer. But the next body prayer I'd like to show you and then lead you through is one that comes from the United Church of Canada resource called Advent Unwrapped. Now this particular body prayer is for the week of peace in Advent, but unfortunately prayers for peace are not only needed during Advent. We are of course at a time in our world where we need peace so much. And so I thought we might take a few moments to share in this prayer that I have here. I'll show you the outline of it in uh, just a second. And then you and I will work through it once, just as I talk you through it. And then the second time we'll pray with it. We begin with our arms reaching up and out. Holy One, we hold our hands over our heart. May your peace. And then circle your arms in front of you. Surround me. Put our hands back to our hearts. May your peace. Work through me. So you want to throw your arms back if you can, reaching out as though something's pushing right through you. Come back to peace. May your peace extend to the world out and around. And then amen, or however you're comfortable with the final part of the prayer. So please join me now. Holy One, may your peace surround me. May your peace work through me. May your peace extend to the world. Again. Holy One, may your peace surround me. May your peace work through me. May your peace extend to the world. Amen. May it be so.